Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate or how to determine estimated time of arrival. Here in our example, we have here our departure port which is from Tokyo, Japan. Our arrival port will be in Los Angeles, USA. We have here uh, the given total distance. So this total dis distance will be taken from my Navi planner which is here from Tokyo, Japan to LA, USA. We have here our total distance which is 4,908 nautical miles. This route is not validated but the distance here will be reliable enough for calculation purposes or for exercises purposes. Let's proceed. Now the given average speed here is 14.5 knots and we have the given estimated time of departure or ATD which is 2000 hours on August 20 of 2023. Determine the following steaming time then estimated time of arrival or ATA. As you can see here, our departure port and our arrival port have different time zone. In order to find the estimated time of arrival, we need to apply a zone description in order to find the local time of arrival. To find the zone description, we will just divide our longitude by 15. So we will divide this by 15. So we will go to our calculator. We have now 139 degrees, 46 decimal, 5 minutes divided by 1.5 we have here our answer which is 9.31 so description will always be in whole number so we'll round it off to the nearest nearest whole number nearest whole number will be 9 the direction of our longitude is is all easterly longitude the sign of the sun description is negative so we have negative 9 for our arrival port to find our so in description, we'll just divide it also by 15. So we'll go to our calculator, then divide 118 degrees, then 15 decimal 2 minutes divided by 15. Okay, so we have here our answer 7.88, rounded off to the nearest whole number. We have now here 8. And westerly longitude, the sign of the sun description is positive. We have now some description of our departure and arrival port. So we'll proceed to our steaming time. In order to find steaming time, we will use our magic triangle, which is inside our triangle. We have here our D stands for distance. We have here our S stands for speed and T stands for time. Time will be equal to distance divided by speed. Time is equal to distance over speed. Our total distance from departure to arrival is 4,908. We have 4,908 nautical miles. We will divide it by average speed. And our average speed is 14.5 knots or equivalent to miles per hour. So we'll cancel both unit miles. Our answer later on will be in hour. So we'll divide 4,908 divided by 14.5 equals to 338.48. So we have here 338.48 hours. In one day, we have only 24 hours. Convert it to number of days. To convert, we will divide this by 24. So we'll divide this by 24 in order to find the number of days. We have 14.1 days. 14.10 steaming time. We will take this whole number which is 14. So we have here 14 days. This fraction or decimal or 0 0.10 and so on. We are going to convert it into number of hours. 0 0.10 and so on will be multiplied by 24 in order to find the number of hours. In our calculator, we'll subtract first 14. So the, the remaining fraction or decimal will be multiplied by 24 in order to find the number of hours. So the number of hours will be 2.48. 2.48 hours. We will take this whole number, which is 2. We have now here 2 hours. How about this remaining 0.427 and so on? We will convert it into number of minutes. So we have now 0 0.48 and so on we will be multiplied by 60 in order to find minutes. We will subtract first 2 so that the remaining decimal will be multiplied by 60. 
in order to find minutes. And we have here the number of minutes, which is 28.9. It will be rounded off to 29 minutes. We have now here our steaming time, which is 14 days, 2 hours and 29 minutes from Tokyo, Japan to LA, USA. This is our first step. We will proceed to our second step, finding the estimated time of arrival. We will start with our estimated time of departure. We have now our departure local time. We will start with the number of hours, which is 20. The minute will be 0 on August 20, 2023. Now we will apply our departure zone description in order to find the departure GMT or Greenwich Mean Time. Our departure zone description is negative 9. And finding the or converting the local time or local mean time to GMT, we have the rules. We will apply the sign of zone description. If it is negative, we will subtract. If this is positive, then we will add. Since this is negative, we will subtract 20 minus 9. We have now 11 hours. Just bring down the minute still August 20. After finding the departure GMT, we will now apply our steaming time. The number of days will be applied here in the date of the month. Then for hours and minutes, align it with the column of hours. And then we have the minutes which is 29 minutes. Steaming time will always be added. We will start with the date or the number of days which is 20 plus 14 days, 34 of august let's proceed with minutes and hours so zero plus 29 still 20 9 then 11 plus 2 13 hours go back to august the number of days on august is only up to 31 days so we'll subtract 31 days so we have now here three not august anymore this is now third of september 2023 bring down the minutes and then bring down the number of hours, which is 13 hours. This is now your arrival Greenwich Mean Time or GMT. So to find our estimated time of arrival, since ETA will be in local time, we will apply the arrival soon description. Our arrival soon description is positive. Okay, by applying the arrival soon description from, from our GMT, we can find now our arrival local time or this is now our estimated time of arrival in converting gmt to lmt or local time the role sale will be reverse the sign of the zone description reverse the sign of our zone description we will enclose it with a parenthesis and we write on the top negative this will be subtracted 13 minus 8 will be 5 Okay, so we will have the number of hours, which is 5. Bring down the minutes, 29, on the 3rd of September 2023. Or your estimated time of arrival will be on the 3rd of September 2023 at 0529 hours. This will be now your ETE or estimated time of arrival. Okay guys, you can use any method of finding the estimated time of arrival in which you are familiar with. I hope that this video will be helpful for you. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. So that's all for now guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.